Cooperate, we can get this done pretty quick. I'm just gonna need you to line up one at a time. I just got one pail. What's he trying to do? One at a time, we can get this done. You can get back to eating, sleeping, whatever you do best. I'm just here to milk. He's gonna try to milk all those cows by hand. I don't know how he's gonna do it in that pen stand in there. What? I'm uh, looking for Mr. Boyle. I heard about the milking job. Well, you look like you're about 85 years behind your time. So you're telling me I didn't need to bring this pail and stool? Nope. We haven't uh, milked them by hand in about, uh, probably about 85 years. Well, I'm willing to learn if you guys are willing to teach. All right, you're gonna have a long day, but if you wanna do it, I'm ready for it, let's go. In an older barn, you would have to run up and down, milk them. Oh, okay. In this barn, the cows come to you. Let's see, the milk comes from up there, comes down this black tube into this pipeline. Okay. This pipeline is taking it down there to a receiver. All right. From that receiver, it's going to pump it up across the top of us and down through the center up to the milk tanks and cooling. How long does it take from cow to truck? Cow to truck? Yeah. Well, from cow to the tank, takes it less than a minute. Okay, wow. And from truck, it's, you gotta figure depends. every six hours there's a truck here. Okay, yeah, it just depends upon when they get Six here. to 10 hours, there'll be a truck here. Okay. You'll ship out three and a half truckloads a day. Wow. And each truckload's roughly 7,500 gallons. Now the key to keeping milk fresh from the dairy all the way to the, to the stores is to keep it, to get it as cold as possible as soon as possible as it comes out of the cow. So this is our plate chiller. You can feel this. That's the temperature of the milk coming out of the cow, about 98 degrees. And feel that. Wow, that's cool. That's about 36 degrees. The milk comes through our plate chiller here and flash chills it to uh, to, to 36 degrees where it's then held all the way from here all the way to the time it ends up in your refrigerator at home. Well, sure was a good hard, hard day of work today. Well, you milked a lot of cows. Turns out I didn't really need that bucket after all, huh? Nah, milking 3,000 cows requires a little more modern technology than that. Dairy farming's changed a lot in the last 60 years. In, uh, in the 1940s, there were about 16 million cows in the country. Now there's only about 9 million milk cows in the country. But the big difference is, is we're actually producing more milk with those 9 million cows than we were in the 40s with 16 million. Wow. Yeah, our cows have gotten a lot more productive, mainly because of the high quality care and feed that, that we provide for them. Wow. Well, I was glad I could help out today. But you're not done. We got more to do. OK, let's go. Expect 
piece of me. How am I supposed to move all this hay from here to there to feed the cows? And it's almost dinner time. It's really heavy. All the way over there. There's like a uh, more hay than. What, what are you doing? Well, you said it's time to feed the, the cows, so I, I managed to get this one piece of hay down. Are we. Well, let me show you how we do it nowadays. Okay, let's go. It's better than this. Come on. So, boss, how'd I do? Well, you did a pretty good job, really. So, what is all this stuff? Well, it's a mixture of forages and grains, uh, mainly alfalfa, corn silage, sorghum silage, all of that we grow right here on our farm, plus a little bit of grain thrown in also. Yeah, I can see the, the individual pieces of corn in here, some other stuff. Most of it's alfalfa. Arizona's a great place to grow alfalfa, so we utilize it quite a bit for cows. So how do you know this is the best stuff for the cow? We actually have a nutritionist who comes out and, and formulates the best ration for a milk cow. Oh, that's good to know. So yeah, my cows have better nutrition than I do, I think. <laughs> You'll get used to that. Really? Oh yeah, it's manure, but it's also a, it's also an important part of the dairy. How? Well, we got we farm a thousand acres of uh, alfalfa and corn here, so we use the manure as fertilizer. Oh, I thought it was just cow poop. No, nah, manure's got all sorts of uses. Some farmers have uh, have started to turn manure into electricity. Well, how do they do that? Well, manure gives off methane, which can be captured and then converted into electricity or turn into natural gas. Oh, well, I guess manure has its uses after all, huh? It can be an important part of a farm. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I sure did learn a lot, a ton today. I'll be here Thank tomorrow, you. 8, 8.30. That's about what time we get to work, right? 8.30? Well, what time do you need me at? I think you're gonna need to get here quite a bit earlier than that. About 4, 4.30. Ah.